In this quick video we're just going to have a look at how to use the bevel tool in Blender. So in the last video we had a look at, we looked at the extrude tool which we could use to do um, detailing for windows and doors and elements like that in a model. Now the, the bevel tool is a complementary tool to the extrude tool and it basically allows us to, to do what a traditional bevel would do in carpentry which is round off edges or or um, areas of the design work. And again, a little bit like the other tools that we've worked with, it kind of gets applied to the full face. So around the vertices and the edges, it will get applied um, consistently around all of them. So I've just got the simple default cube, which starts in Blender. I've, I've done nothing to it, so it's only got the um, six sides to it. And I'm just gonna go into my edit mode um, again, you can choose that just by using the tab key. And if I come down here to about halfway down, I have the bevel tool, which allows me a little bit of creativity to work on my model. And it's quite useful for creating things like roofs and things like that, or even playing around with um, detailing for, for smaller objects, which you might find inside a building. So I'm going to make sure I'm in face select mode and select the top face and I've got the bevel tool on and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that yellow pointer and I'm just dragging it up and you can see it's beveling away at my cube so it's kind of cutting parts out of it and if I go down a long way I get a little pyramid and if I go beyond the pyramid I get this kind of interesting trapeze. Um, but let's say I've got a sloped roof on my building. So I'm using the bevel to kind of create that in a flat roof on top. Now that's just working with the default bevel settings. I can go down to the options and you'll see I've got a great deal of um, selections that I can use here to create the way that the bevel works. So this is just changing some various um, elements of it. We can choose how many segments we do. So if I do more segments, I get a much rounder bevel. So if you're looking to do awnings and things like that, you can use the bevel tool to kind of create a rounded effect on the object that you're working with. So it's quite a neat tool to um, play with and experiment with. Um, there are a lot of different types of mitres and that's kind of the angle of the cut that you can work with. I'm just working with the default ones here. But when used in concert with things like the extrude tool, so I'm just going to jump on the extrude tool and I can kind of pop this down, kind of creating a, um, a square planter or something like that with rounded kind of corners on it. So from my simple cube using the bevel tool and even the extrude tool I can start to create quite interesting and complex objects really, really easily.